Hello, Mega Man Moves here. Today is Wednesday, um, so this is not going to be a time lapse drawing, but it is going to be a drawing. Um, I am using Paint.net the program. I'm going to show you guys that you can make really nice looking images just using paint, like just paint, and I can make something look awesome, right? This does not look awesome, okay? Uh, this is one of the final products. It does look pretty freaking awesome. It's a shield of earth. We're going to come in here. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it all, okay? So you can take off this icon, okay? I work with layers. You look over here, I have probably a bazillion layers, okay? I always work on an empty background so that you can save it and you can vector it and put it on whatever you want. Um, so basically, let's start at the beginning here. Uh, you start out with your base layer of a shield. Um, uh, it's just solely whatever you want. So you can take the inside, so I take the inside. Um, made that black. Um, I was thinking about, uh, yep, 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 so there's the black, and I made it, uh, I put on, uh, royalty-free texture, throw that on there, make it like the leather edge of a shield. You come in here, um, actually, you make that clear, so you come in here, all this is, is a gradient thing, you come in here, you use this gradient tool, and I literally just made a gradient. You throw a texture on top, you make this texture, I don't know, what is it, 25 opacity, and then it makes it like a nice dented shield look, right? I don't, yeah, I don't know what else I was messing with. I was messing, I had that, okay? This is it. This is all you need, okay? So I was asked, I was, I'm working on these shields for a card game called Storm Reavers. I was asked to remake them with this logo instead, which is no big deal. And like, I'm working on, I think this is... 3,000 by 3,000 frames, so it's going to look really, really nice when I'm done. A really nice HD quality when I'm done. So I come in here, position this in. You see, I don't, I don't know if I'm set on this. Like, It's kind of more down. I want it to be more in the center. So I want to be able to bring this up right here. And have like it be nice symmetrical, just right. But that's going off the edge of the shield. So what I'll do is a really if you don't want to erase stuff, really easy way of working with layers. Okay, I come in here. Okay, I select that. Okay, I'll come in here and I'll select. Actually, I don't even need to select this. Okay, no, let me redo this. Okay, you select the inside of this layer. This layer is the outside of this. Okay, I press Control I to invert it. Okay. I come back to the layer I was working on, and I delete it. Look, problem solved. Okay. So I can come in here. I can probably uh, change the color of this icon here. Make it uh, green so it will fit with everything. Now, you see, it looks like the logo is cut off now. It doesn't look as nice to me. So I changed my mind. I'll probably come in here. Oh my gosh, this is this is rough, I'm not going to lie. I don't know really what I'm going to do here. See, because I want like the whole logo to be here. Okay, The logo for the shield. I like it in the center here. I'm just not a fan of it like I don't know, coming off right there. Maybe if we flip it up. See, and then like I do this, I'm just, I think that this is a smart choice. Um... I'm perfectly fine with this. All I'll do is I'll come in here. I'll switch the saturation. I'll make it green. Um, you will notice one thing. This is 3D, and this is a shield. It's gonna look weird. It's gonna look like I pasted it on. So probably what I'm gonna end up doing is I'll see. I'll level it. Hmm. Maybe I can make this completely yes okay see so I'm gonna go ahead and do something right now okay I'll take this so oh frick alright there we go so I have everything around it I'll press I invert it I'll come over here I need a color so I'll take green come over more take green I want this to be a darker green than this green. Very simple. And I think it'd be cool if like the ring around this was brighter 
and everything else, okay? Um, yeah, that looks fine to me. If I come in here and I, nope, that's the exact color I want. I might come into here and I might change this outline for the shield. I might make it more green so it'll fit with everything. And I know you're saying, okay, that looks like crap. This is where the magic comes in. And it's the pre it's the after rendering progress, okay? So I will just call this Earth Shield one. And I make probably five or ten different drawings based like I'll I'll, I'll do it ten different ways and I'll let who the person I'm working for pick the best one. But uh I'll come in here. Uh now I'm gonna select around the edges because what I'm gonna do is well Tolerance 50 might be a bit too much. See, I want it to be just right, right there. Okay. So, Control I invert. Now it has photos. Okay. Now the glow tool and the soften portrait tool are going to be your best friends. Okay. They make your artwork look really nice. Okay. This will give it like a really nice, really thick texture. Like look at this. It's, I mean, it's not for everyone. It looks interesting. You can blur it. So everything looks blurred if you want, or you cannot, right? So there is that, okay? This looks really nice. Right there, like, I'm in love with that. That looks really phenomenal to me. Um, there's also the other option, which is the soften portrait, okay? Now, I don't want to blur it anymore. I'll blur it a little bit just to get rid of those lines. Um, I think I want my shield to be... See, I'm not sure if I want it lighter or darker. I think it actually looks pretty darn good in the middle. Now, I could keep it like this color, super green, or I could warm it up a bit, or I can make it super warm, okay? So this makes it so it stands off of, like, a grayish background, because, I don't know, there's more gray cards. This looks like a very, I don't know, darker sort of picture this kind of brightens it up like you can't tell the gray like until I do this like that is black and white if I didn't show you beforehand you would think that's black and white but it's a, it's a warmer like more offset thing um but yeah it's not for everyone I think I like this I really do I like this okay so I'm looking at this and I'm thinking to myself all right um that's a that's a really cool uh I'm liking that the fact that I turned it I like everything. It looks really dark right here, really bright right here, okay? So I don't like that. I don't like that about this drawing. So I'll do this. I'm going to get rid of the glow that I applied, okay? Got rid of it. Let's go ahead and just try softening the portrait, okay? We'll just we'll just go ahead and try that, okay? So I think I'll put that at 5. I like that. Maybe make it warm. No, my heart isn't. I don't like that. That's not where my heart is. Um, please make it super dark. You know, I... Hmm. Hmm. You see, I think definitely it was the right choice getting rid of the glow, but I feel like I need some of the glow back. Okay. So, as you can see here, there's a difference um, with the radius when I play around with that. Um, the contrast is really intense right now. If I get rid of that, It'll be a lot nicer overall, you could say. So at full blast, everything kind of blends together. And I really like that about the glow tool. Kind of blends everything together for you. Then I can come in here and I can uh, play around with everything. I can make it so it's just barely soft or I can blur everything together, which I'm not a fan of. I like a more crisp feel. Like, obviously, like blend it all together, but I like the more crisp feel. So, as we see here, this is the finished shield. Um, this is my shield beforehand. As you can see, um, it glows. It's warmer, as I pointed out. This one is not warm at all. This one's warmer. Um, you know, I, I feel that this green is a little too green unfortunately. So, one way we can get around this is we can do this. Okay, 
we can uh, darken everything up. And then we can apply a glow. Okay. Um, uh, I was hoping that would uh, soften that green a little bit. It didn't really work in my favor. So I can come in here and I can just affect that. Um, now that that's a darker green, I can, I completely, I messed with the brightness and contrast before I messed with that green. I just want, yeah, I want our base image, and then I want to change this to be that darker green. Alright, so I'm feeling, I was feeling the dark, I didn't like the light, it looked a little weird to me. So if I control I, you know what, there's one other thing that's bothering me, it's like too green almost, like, that's a little too green for me. So I'll come in here, and I will come into hue and saturation, and I will desaturate that just a bit. So now, as we look at it, it looks, I don't know, oh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see once I, once I render it all. Like I said, these are going to be your two go-to tools, basically. Alright, so it is really dark now. It's definitely not lighting up. So if I throw it through glow. Alright, and then I go ahead and render it or soften this portrait. Right? Hmm. That shield is looking really vicious, actually. Which I don't like. I like that. I like it because that looks really like. I, got, I like crisp. I don't like this where it's all super blurred. I like this. Maybe even. Hmm. Nah, I think I like this actually. Alright, so I'm getting to a point where I like my shield a little better now. However, the glow is not, I'm not feeling that glow. So now I'll play around with this a little more. I'll put it back at its originals, see how that looks. Okay. Alright, now that everything is kind of more vivid, brightened up. Soften the portrait, raise the lighting. Maybe this. I'm, just, I'm, hmm, I'm still on the fence. Throw the softness up. All right. So there's that. There's how I feel a shield would look completely rendered all together looking nice see yeah the auto level is gonna jack with it and make it look weird but yeah no I'm really liking this um, I could come in here and yeah desaturate it a little bit you know there is one thing I could do see so this green symbol looks like it could have been painted on the shield. It could have not been painted on the shield. So I'm going to try something. We'll try a little, little something else. And this is part of the process. I mean, I went through all that stuff, but still I got to come back and work at the base if I didn't like my final product. So I'll come in here and, uh, yeah. So I wanted to click on this. I was thinking about doing this, right? So just having the green outline of the shield and then having the super dark symbol on there. Um, basically, this is how I apply my textures. So I'll take a ton of scratches. Okay. I'll throw it in like this. Okay. I accidentally pasted that on the wrong layer. That was my bad. So I'll stretch this out. Okay. Because I want this to fit on that symbol. Then all you have to do is you come to the symbol. Okay, very easy, very simple. I 
Okay, I click Control I so I just get the inside. I Control C. Am I going to just paste on this layer? Well, no, I'll just go ahead. Well, oh crap, it's above it, isn't it? All right, so I make a new layer, I paste it on, and I set it down to probably a 25 opacity. Okay, now it looks like there might be a symbol like carved into the shield. One way I can make it look less um, deep is I can make it all one color now. And then we throw this filter on and it looks looks like an indentation. Um, I'll get rid of this. I appear to have gotten rid of what I did to this right here. I definitely like that greener. Alright, so now as we see here, it's a shield, it has the symbol on it, it has green. Um, so I, I feel like, uh, we'll just save over this. This is one instance where I would make this, I'm gonna make this a real thing, but then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try and colorize this, but very lightly. So it's not so strong. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make probably five photos and then I can send them in and you know they can decide, but that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, taking a little look into the life of how someone sort of goes about doing this. And uh, I'll actually probably do this too, so I'll click OK. Okay. So I, I love this shield, okay. It, I feel like it all goes together really well. I can save as Earth Shield 1 PNG, save, yes. So I save over that, okay? I control Z, get rid of it. I re-render it, soften portrait. I'm gonna pull the warmth up, okay? And I'm gonna let my, uh, I'm gonna let the people who I'm making this for decide whether they want the warmer one or the cooler one. And it is completely up to them. Now I come back. I still have, still have the same image. Not a big deal. I can come in here. I'm gonna try and render it with a glow, okay? And then I'll go ahead and soften this portrait. Alright, yeah, I'm feeling that. So I'll click OK. It's a little more contrasted. But once again, it's not my choice. I just make the final renderings. So I come in here, click OK. There's that render done. I click Control Z. It still has its glow applied. Oh, whoops. It still has its glow applied. I soften this portrait, pull up the warmth. I would go ahead and uh, resave this, Earth Shield 4. So it's going to end up being 8 total. Um, yeah, this fit is already. Uh, I'll just go ahead and show you guys what I'll end up doing. So there's four renderings for them right off the bat. So now I come in here, and I want this to be colored. So I do the following I do this. Come into this layer, I hue and saturate it, throw this back, take the saturation way down, and the darkness way down. But it still has that color, that color on it. And I might actually come in here and bump this up to like a 40, and I might brightness and contrast that layer so that this symbol looks a little more roughed up. Alright, now I'll take this down to a 10, now that I have that rougher, that rougher look on it. I'm actually going to go ahead and take that, and I want that to glow. Like, not, not the glow you're thinking. Glow blurs the photo when you glow. Right, so that's going to blur it all together so that it doesn't look so crude, I guess you could say. Now, I'll go ahead and save this as Earth Shield 5, because that's the next image I need to make. I'll go ahead and save. Click OK, flatten. Alright, now I do the same thing I did last time. The same exact thing. I come in here, 
I render one with this, with the colored logo. I go ahead and save this as Earth Shield 5. That's my bad. Earth Shield 5. Yes, I want to replace it. Alright, Control Z. I go ahead and re render this with warmth. And I go ahead and send this into them as Earth Shield 6. I go ahead and save. Alright, I Control Z. I apply my glow. Okay. This wasn't the glow I had last time, but that's okay. Alright, now I saw. Oh! Not what I wanted. Alright, I go ahead, do the glow. Click OK. Earth Shield 7. Done deal. Render, soft portrait, not render. I don't know why I keep saying that. Throw on the warmth. Save as Earth Shield 8. And that is it. I still might play around with the design. I'm not sure. But that's my process. That's how I do things. I just took you through it. Um, that's about it. I'm glad you can join me. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you next Wednesday with another art project.